Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim's special edition. My name is Camel and today we have a guide for the beloved yet savage Daedric artifact, the Ring of the Mirror. I'd completely forgotten how awesome and dark this questline is, but I'm glad to relive it with you here right now. And be sure to hit up my social medias, links to them can be found down in the description. There is also a timestamp that will take you straight to the overview of the weapon if you so wish to use it. Now luckily there is no level requirement to get this ring, so you can come and get this at any level which would be an extremely useful addition to anyone's arsenal at low levels and even at higher levels. Firstly, we'll need to make our way to the ancient Dwemer mountain-bound fortress of Markarf, the capital city of Skyrim's hold, the Reach. On the map, it can be found here on the western edge of Skyrim. Good old Markarth, the safest city in the Reach. Firstly, we'll want to stop off at the Silver Blood Inn. Once inside, speak to one of the owners, Klepper. Klepper. I don't know how to say that, but it's not a very clever name. Ask him about rumors. This is the Silver Blood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Did you hear? The Hall of the Dead is closed. Brother Varalis isn't the most popular man in town right now. This will give us the miscellaneous quest objective to speak to Brother Varalis about the Hall of the Dead. He can be found in Markarth's royal palace, as it were, a subterranean citadel called Understone Keep. Make your way inside. As soon as we enter, we'll bear witness to two men arguing. This is Thungvor Silverblood and Brother Verilus, who is Todd Howard's doppelganger. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongvor. We're done. The Silverblood family will be hurt. Once they finish arguing, follow the priest of Arche, Brother Verilus, to the Halls of the Dead entrance. Once we meet him there, speak to him. If it's about the Hall of the Dead, no. You can't go in there. Sorry, the Halls of the what? <laughs> New to Skyrim? I was confused at first, too. The Nords call their mausoleums the Hall of the Dead. It's where people in the city are buried. Fathers, forefathers, mothers, foremothers. And you're a priest of who? R.K. One of the Eight Divines, god of the cycle of birth and death. It is his shrine people pray to when they visit the Hall. That his divinity will watch over their ancestors on the way to the next life. Why can't I enter? I can't talk about it. Rest assured, the Jarl hears everyone's concerns. You will be able to visit the dead again soon. Look mate, give us the lowdown and I'll lend you a hand. Alright. I was going to suggest the Jarl hire someone to sort this mess out anyway. We've discovered that some of the dead have been... eaten. Flesh has been chewed off. Bones were snapped to get at the marrow inside. We haven't caught anyone or anything yet. It's like it knows when I'm there. If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of Arke will reward you. Take my key, and be careful. Tread lightly in the hall. You don't know what's in there. Alright, in we go to the Halls of the Dead. Shortly after entering, we'll be stopped by a voice. Not many would walk blindly into a crypt, smelling of steel and blood, but not fear. I feel the hunger inside of you, gnawing at you. You see the dead, and your mouth grows wet. Your stomach growls. It's all right. I will not shun you for what you are. Stay. I will tell you everything you have forgotten. You were young when you first tasted human flesh, weren't you? A brother or sister had died? An accident, of course. Then the hunger set in. Curiosity. What's the harm in just one bite? It's okay now. You found a friend who understands you. You can let go of your guilt. Guilt? What are you talking about? How did you know about school camp? A lot of our kind block out the memory of their first meal. The shame is too much. But you don't need to hide anymore. Namira, the Lady of Decay, accepts you for what you are. She has a place for us where we can sate our appetites without judgment. Where is this place? McDonald's? It's inside Reachcliff Cave. But the dead have stirred from their slumber recently and I was forced here. Meet me there. We will fight our way to Namira's embrace together. Until then, tell the people of Markarth that their dead won't be disturbed anymore. We have bigger plans ahead. 
Now this will begin the Daedric quest, The Taste of Death. It definitely is McDonald's. Now before leaving, speak to Brother Verilus to gain a small reward, his amulet of Arche. You've returned. What happened in the Hall of the Dead? Divines preserve you. You're a hero. We'll reopen the hall right away. Here, take my amulet as a reward. Now we'll want to head to Reach Cliff Cave, which can be found to the southeast of Markarth. Once here, Eola will be waiting outside. We should speak to her. You've come. The Draugr infesting the Mirror Sanctuary are inside. While I could use a hand, you could eat one. I was hoping you would say that. Very simple, head inside the cave and clear out all of the Draga, slowly making your way down to the final chamber of the ruin. Then, Eola will speak to us. You've done it. The shrine is ours again. Now we need to prepare a grand feast to welcome you to Namira's coven. You will have the honor of bringing a fresh kill for the main course, and I know the perfect person. Oh, who be that? A priest filled with the taste of an easy life, Brother Verilus from Markarth. Give him this gold. Tell him you need Arke's help exploring an old cavern for treasure. And when he stands in Amira's presence, she will take care of the rest. Say hello to Verilus for me. Okay, you heard the woman back to Markarth, more specifically to the Halls of the Dead. Inside, we'll find Brother Verilus praying. Interrupt this worthless act and speak to him. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Even the dead need company. That's what Arke provides. You are looking for Arke's protection while you delve some dank tomb, I take it? My duties keep me busy in Markarth. I don't know if I can help you. Mmm, there'll be treasure to share? You know, in the priesthood of Arke, we have a joke about an empty pocket being better than a full grave. Ha, that's a good one. Alright, how about gold? That's no small amount of coin, friend. I suppose I can come with you for a short venture. Lead on. Sweet, let's go. Good thing you still have an empty pocket. Wait, anyway, now head back to Reach Cliff Cave's secret entrance with Brother Verilus. Head on inside. In here, we can see Eola has gathered some dinner guests. Let's mingle before the main course, as they have some very interesting things to say. The toes are my favorite part. I hope I get to take a few home with me. I always preferred the liver myself. My brother had such a juicy liver. Not too full on bread and wine, I hope. I always leave room for the main course, Eola. When was your first meal, Benny? Do dogs count? Of course they don't count. My friend Merrix, we were hunting, and I thought he was an elk. That must have been quite a surprise. Either way, I came back with meat for the table. This is lovely, as always, Eola. Thank you, Lisbeth. It's been such a joy to dine with you all these years. Many used to come to these caves. The Forgotten, the Wretched. Ah, the new disciple. I hear you have quite the appetite. I'm so glad Ayola invited you to dinner. Now this is going to be a good feast. I remember my first feast. I envy you. You've brought us quite the meal. Indeed I have, and it's home delivery too. Who are you? What's going on? Priest of Arche, I'm your friend. You're my... friend? Yes, I'm your friend, and I've invited you to dinner. I've been invited to dinner. I'm so hungry. Why don't you lay down and rest while we get the meal ready? I need to lay down. I'll just be a minute. Come with me. Our feast is about to begin. Now Brother Verilus will have his mind meddled with by Namira, and he'll make his own way up onto Namira's table. The meal is on Namira's table. Go ahead, carve. I will point out here that you do have a choice. You can not kill Verilus, but this will not yield the ring of Namira as a reward. So if you do want that pretty band on your finger, you'll have to go ahead and carve. He looks so sweet. Go ahead. Have the first bite. Eat. You know you want to. Mortal. I am Namira, the Lady of Decay. Your consumption of the blood and bile of Arke's own is pleasing to me. I give you my ring. Wear it, and when you feast on the flesh of the dead, 
I will grant you my power. Ah, look. It's a lot of work for this thing that I could get in a cereal box. Your mockery will be the end of you. And on that day, another servant will feast on your entrails and discover a ring clenched in her teeth. Be grateful for what time I give you until then. I knew when you walked into the Hall of the Dead that you were special. And here you are, champion of Namira, keeper of her ring. You're everything I hoped you'd be. Thank you, Iolo, for the new meal plan. It's an honor, champion. Feel free to stay and mingle with your new coven. Before we check it out, let's see what the others think. Some of them even look familiar. It's an honor, Keeper of the Ring. Praise to you, champion. Oh my god, it's the adoring fan. You were given Namira's ring? A great honor. I know you, boy. You buy a war dog for me? There's a reason why my hounds are so eager to bite into people. Namira spoke to you? I knew this feast was going to be something. You, you're the butcher. The bloodiest beef in the reach. <laughs> I'm so glad Ayola invited you to dinner. I know you. One of my customers? Did you know I inherited the store from my late husband? Shame what happened to him. He had such good taste. Markarth, safest city in the Reach? Yeah, and the only city in the Reach, so that statement means nothing. Christ almighty, it's crawling with cannibals. Go ahead, eat. Did you start this calorie club? No. This coven has existed for thousands of years. Namira is a goddess. She has been worshipped since time began. I'm honored to be leading the latest generation of Namira's faithful, those who have embraced what they are. Iola will now be available as a follower, which is great fun because she drops friendly lines on your travels like this. Blessed are the forgotten, the wretched. The dead exist to feed the living. Namira covets your ugliness. Ah, Eola, a woman after my own heart. Okay, so let's check this ring out. The Ring of Namira. Its slot is of course the finger, it's got a weight of 0.25, it's got a value of 870, and it's enchantment. Stamina is increased by 50 points, and it also grants the ability to feed on corpses, which will give the player 50 plus health and 50 plus health regen for 5 minutes. Okay, so we'll run over that now, when the ring is equipped, and you've slain an enemy, activating their corpse will give you the option to either search them or feed on them. When you feed on a corpse, you will gain Namira's Blessing for 5 minutes. This both fortifies your health by 50 points and increases your health regeneration by an extra 50%. So your health will regenerate 1.5 times faster than normal. Now after 5 minutes, it will wear off and you'll have to chow down on another corpse to gain the blessing again. And you do need the ring equipped to get the feeding option. But once you have fed on a corpse and you have Nimura's Blessing active, you can take the ring off and the blessing will remain for the next five minutes as per usual. Also, don't eat anyone in front of Skyrim guards. Wouldn't want to do anything silly like that, as it counts as a crime and you will be punished according to the law. Who knew? Guards will also comment with, Ugh, your breath is foul. What have you been eating? Your cousin, that's who. Yeah, and it's got nothing to do with the ring either. So, on a playable level, is the ring of the mirror worth it? Yeah. 50 plus stamina is an awesome stat boost, not matched by any other rings found naturally in the game, and the ability to feed on enemies' corpses? Morally, it's wrong, but mechanically, it's one hell of an ability, especially given that 90% of the time you'll be fighting stuff out of sight from a hold guard, so that negative aspect will almost never be encountered, leaving, of course, just the positive. So you don't have to use the ring, but goddamn son, it's a very solid piece and one that can be acquired at any level. Yeah boy, that's what I'm talking about. Now, after completing the quest, a new random encounter will be added to the pool. Sigma may be encountered in the wilderness. He will greet the Dragonborn and ask them to feed on the corpse of an Ultima lying next to him. There is a mechanic you need to be careful of, as when feeding with the ring and consuming a corpse while still under Namira's blessing from another corpse, and while you have less than 50 health, 
this will kill you. This is because of maths, which is related to science. What happens is the 50 plus bonus health from the mirror's blessing that you have active from the corpse you ate previously is removed before the new one is applied after eating another corpse. So if you do this while your health is below 50, that extra 50 health will be removed, leaving you with zero health and you'll die. There is also a bug with the ring, which is actually pretty cool, but likely removed with the unofficial patch. If you are wearing the ring of Namira and receive the cursed ring of her scene from Sinding during the quest Ill Met by Moonlight, I've got a video for that. If you wanna check it out, link can be found in the description. But if you do do that, you will forever be able to feed off of the bodies and obtain the plus 50 health and plus 50% health regeneration from feeding off corpses. So that's pretty damn useful if you can get it to work. Interestingly, Namira's ring in Skyrim has completely different enchantments to its previous versions in Daggerfall and Oblivion. Luckily though, Skyrim's version of the ring is by far the more powerful. So use it wisely and don't forget to floss. <laughs> And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique Daedric artifact, the Ring of Namira. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out the other Skyrim Special Edition guides I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now down there in the old description, you can find links to my social medias, be sure to follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a heroic patron on of course Patreon. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos I create for you to enjoy, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.